Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we displayed confirmation dialog before sending the Ajax to the Rails controller. And in this lecture, we will do something with Ajax and jQuery again. And this time, we will see how to use success option with Ajax request. And we will display an alert message once the Ajax request has been performed successfully. So let's discuss the success option first. Okay. so. The success option in the Ajax request is a function to be called if the request succeed. And this is a local event and this event is only called if the request was successful. I mean, there are no errors from the server and no errors with the data you are sending to the server as well. Now it's time to use the success option with our Ajax request. But before that, let me tell you that what we will do when our Ajax sent to the server successfully. Okay, so we will display an alert message to the user that request was successful and record he has selected for deletion has been deleted successfully. Okay, for example, here if you can see that right now if I select a book to delete and I if I click on the delete book button, you can see the confirmation dialog is, is appearing here. But when I press OK, that means the Ajax sent to the Rails uh, backend or Rails server successfully and the book has been deleted from the database as well. But you can see that I'm not getting any message here or any kind of notification here that the request has been successfully performed or what happened here. OK, but the item has been deleted from the browser successfully and from the database as well. OK, so we will implement that alert notification in this. Uh, lecture okay so first we need to define an empty element on the dom and there we will display the alert message okay so uh, open the books index.html.tre file and just before the table we need to add an empty div element with some id okay so here you can see that this is my index.html.tre and right before the table we need to add a div element with some id so here you can see that i can add div id and the id whatever you can provide here for example since we are doing this for some flash notification kind of thing so i am providing id like a flash notification so flash and then notification and remember this element uh, should be an empty element okay so now save the file and come to the browser just to check that whether this element is added on the DOM or not. So when you refresh this, okay, you can just inspect the page and inside the page, when you open the row and the div call LG12, you can see that this is the element that we added that is with div with ID flash notification. And once our Ajax successfully sent to the server and received some data, then we will display a alert message in this empty div element okay now let's come to the application.js where we implemented the ajax request and there we will add the success option now okay so let's open the application.js okay so here you can see that this is the application.js and if user confirms that he want to delete the book then we are sending the ajax so we need to write the success message here okay and then we need to assign a function to it you can do anything or whatever type of flash or notification you want to show upon Ajax success, but I'm going to display an alert message from bootstrap here. So first add the success option here after the data. So success. And remember, I told you that this is a function. Okay, so we need to add this as a function. Okay, so we will use the ES6 uh, style of function. So now what we need to do here first we need to get the DOM element where we want to show the alert message. Okay. And you know that what is our DOM element that is flash notification. So just copy this ID and we will get this element first. So, and you know that how we can get the element in the jQuery. So dollar and then hash and here flash notification. And then we will use the HTML method from the jQuery. HTML method is used to append any kind of HTML or to assign any kind of additional DOM elements to uh, specified elements. Okay, so here it means that we will add some element inside this uh, div element, okay, uh, flash notification, okay. And then we need to invoke uh, some bootstrap alert here, okay. So just add this method element. And since our uh, uh, bootstrap alert code will be multi-line, so we can use the tilde operator here. And then we need to define the uh, 
division here okay so let's define that div our division so what we can do here div and then class sorry div class and here the class must be alert and then alert success okay and if you wish you can uh, call the closable alert as, alert as well role and then here what you can do that uh, just add the role success now close this div and inside this div what we need to do we need to provide our uh, message so we can provide let's say your request has been submitted successfully your request has been successfully and books has been deleted or the selected book Okay. this is the detailed message that i want to show you it's uh, totally up to your choice like what you want to display for example you can simply display that book has been deleted successfully or you can simply display that your request has been submitted successfully but i am displaying this kind of uh, uh, full message okay just to make sure that user is uh, uh, well aware that what he has done and what has been happened once his request submitted successfully okay and now save the file and come to the browser okay so here you can see that uh, what i added that i just passed the success option and to this success option i assigned a function where i am i am assigning the html to the flash notification okay and the html is the bootstrap alert okay so now uh, just save the file and come to the browser and refresh the page okay so far you can see that our flash notification class is still empty okay and now what we need to do we just need to select a book to test that whether our successful sorry the success alert is showing or not on the tom okay so you selected one book now click on the delete one book and then uh, press the ok in the confirm dialog and here you can see that your request has been submitted successfully select selected books has been deleted from the database and now you can check this by inspecting the page again so uh, let's uh, click the inspect on this alert and you can see that our, our alert message is appearing inside the flash notification id that we added uh, as an empty element okay and what uh, the our jquery has done so here you can see that uh, the jquery html method assigned this alert into this dom element okay but let me first come to the browser okay so here you can see that after performing the eject successfully the alert is still appear here and it does not remove okay and when you refresh the page then only the alert message is removed but it should not happen why because after performing some successful kind of request you are sending the successful notification or some error notification to the user that is fine but after some time that uh, message should disappear as well because uh, you can see that let me show you by deleting one book again so here you can see that if i delete this book there is no way to close this alert until i refresh the page okay and th this is not a good user experience so we need to uh, just hide this alert just after the uh, ajax perform successfully and user read the successful message and then automatically after some time this should be disappear so there are two ways you can use like you can provide some kind of uh, closable alerts that bootstrap provides or you can set some kind of interval and after that interval the alert message should appear from the dom automatically okay so we can use the set interval method provided by jquery to disappear this alert message so and we need just need to do the same thing inside the successful method so just come to the place where we implemented the success okay and here in the success what we need to do that uh, after assigning this html we can set an interval so set interval and in this set interval we can provide a function and in this function what we need to do that first we need to call the class that we want to fade out or that we want to remove from the database eh, from the dom okay so either you can use the remove method that will immediately remove the 
element without any kind of animation but i will use here the fade out so after two seconds it will use some kind of animation and then remove the bootstrap alert from the dom okay so what we can do here so dollar and then here you can see that what is my due class that is alert so dot alert and then fade out and in this fade out sorry we do not need to do anything okay and now we need to set the interval to remove this so what interval we can set so after this you can provide some interval here let's say two seconds okay here i am using two seconds to remove this or i am using the two seconds of interval to remove this alert but it's totally your choice like uh, whether you want to do this within let's say for example 500 milliseconds after one second after two seconds after 10 seconds it's totally your choice i am just using the two seconds okay you are free to change the values whatever you want to provide here okay as an interval okay now save the file and come to the browser again and when you refresh the page and select any other book to delete and press on the delete one book button and now uh, press the ok inside the confirmation dialog you can see that the alert message was here okay after successful ejects and it disappears automatically even i completed before i completed my statement okay so this is how you can display alerts and set interval to hide the alerts automatically or fade out the alerts automatically if you wish you can call the remove method as well to remove that element from the dom okay it's totally your choice okay and that's it that's what we want from this lecture i hope you enjoyed this so let me explain again that what we did in this lecture so we first added this empty dom element to the our books index space and then in the place where we are sending the ajax that we added a success option and in this success option what we did we first added the alert box or alert message into the flash notification dom element that we added as the empty element and then we set this interval to fade out the alert so i added two seconds you can choose any amount of interval okay so i hope you enjoyed this please try this lecture at your end and we will meet into another lecture with some another point till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe